Inspirational Creatives, episode 222. Welcome to Inspirational Creatives. I'm your host, Rob Lawrence. Join me every Friday as I chat with successful artists, producers, and creative entrepreneurs who share powerful stories and strategies. They can help you to create the life that you want. Listen each week as these inspirational creatives show you how to take your creativity to the next level. You'll learn how to create a sustainable business that inspires others and gives you the financial freedom and lifestyle that you want. Thanks for listening. Make sure you sign up at inspirationalcreatives.com to get free exclusive bonus material. And now on with the show. Rob here and a very warm welcome to 30 Days of Daily Inspiration on the Inspirational Creatives podcast. It's a beautiful, fresh, blue, crisp winter's day here in the east of England. And in today's short episode, I invite you to take a walk. Before I do, if you're new to Inspirational Creatives, each day for the next 30 days, well, the next eight days anyway, I'll be sharing with you an idea, a piece of wisdom or inspiration that I feel will help you to take your creativity and life and business to the next level. Normally, there's an interview every Friday, followed by a short action episode every Wednesday. However, just to spice things up a little bit since episode 200, I've chosen to offer you 30 days of daily inspiration to help you get ready for 2018. So it's Saturday today and episode 222, and that might be a magic number for some, but today I'd like to share with you the wisdom of Paula Schramm. Now, if you've been listening closely to this short series of 30 Days of Daily Inspiration, you'll probably have noticed some specific themes developing. And in each specific episode, you may be able to spot multiple themes converging. One of these themes, for example, is to be outdoors more often and the benefits of doing that. We touched upon this in yesterday's episode 221 with Lauren, who is an explorer and outdoor adventure guide, and this was in the context of reducing distraction from technology and smart devices. Now, we're not saying that these things are bad things, but it seems that if you want to live more peacefully, happily, more connected and more creatively, we need to manage these aspects of our lives carefully. We also explored the benefits of getting outdoors in episode 207, which perhaps unsurprisingly was titled Spend More Time Outdoors. Another theme that you may have discovered that's been developing in this series, and it again came up in yesterday's episode 221, is that of confidence and anxiety. And it wasn't until I spoke with Paula Schramm in episode 123 on Inspirational Creatives that these themes were not only reaffirmed for me, but we also had the opportunity to explore the relationships between them more deeply. In episode 124, Paula shared with me how taking a walk helps her when she feels overwhelmed, anxious or stuck. For me, walking or generally exercising, but walking specifically is really good to just get grounded again. So anytime I'm super anxious, I'll try going for a walk first and see if I feel better afterwards, because that kind of resolves about 60% of all cases of anxiety. It's just like, oh, I haven't moved enough. The simplicity of Paola's wisdom blew me away, realising that it's often lack of movement that causes stagnation in our minds, ideas and energy. Getting up and outside can sometimes be the freedom we are seeking from the way we are feeling. Bringing these themes together, in episode 124, Paola had this to share. I try not to read on my phone or listen to even not even listen to music while I walk. That change lets all these thoughts percolate and then suddenly there'll just be these epiphanies sometimes where it's like, oh, now it makes sense. And it was really easy, you know, <laughs> going for a walk for an hour is so much easier than than brooding over journal pages or trying to Google something in the internet to find a solution to your problem. It's just go for a walk and let your mind kind of open up to that, to the landscape, to what is. And yeah, letting the solutions kind of just naturally come up. Taking a walk is the perfect opportunity to regain clarity and focus whilst getting back in touch with your creative self and what your aims are. If you are seeking a new solution to an existing challenge, as Paula suggests, taking a walk could prove more fruitful than Googling for answers on a smart device. Taking a walk can help to ground yourself and help you to remind yourself of the bigger picture. As Paula suggests, this step might offer you the biggest inspiration that you'll receive today, perhaps this year. 
I'd love to hear what comes up for you after listening to this episode. If you'd like to hear more of what Paula had to say, go and check out episodes 123 and 124, which you can find on inspirationalcreatives.com and just click on the button that says episodes at the top and then look for 123 and 124. I'd love to hear what comes up for you today after listening to this episode. So drop me an email at rob at inspirationalcreatives.com and I look forward to catching up with you again tomorrow for another day of daily inspiration. Thanks for listening. Nothing beats the stories and advice of an expert to help you raise your creative game. I would love to know what you thought about today's episode, so don't forget to subscribe in iTunes where you can rate and review the show. If you like this episode, I invite you to share it on Facebook or Twitter with the one person you know who will benefit from the wisdom shared here today. You can find the show notes on inspirationalcreatives.com forward slash podcast. If you have a burning question or a great idea for a guest, head on over to inspirationalcreatives.com forward slash contact where you can connect with me there. 